Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I wanted to do a video today about some very simple um, wood carving um, and that is to make things like tent pegs, pot hangers, uh, all these kind of things that are, that are really dead easy to make. Um, and what I've done, I've taken, a, I've just harvested a couple of bits of green wood um, to use as an example piece. Um, and what I've got here, I've got my, uh, my regular bushcraft knife which I use um, you know, whenever I'm out. Um, and I've also got my EDC kit um, with my little Swiss Army knife on there, um, just to, I, I suppose, more than anything, prove a point on the fact that these uh, these can be used just as efficiently. Um, so what I'll do, let me bring my camera slightly closer in, um, and I'll show you what it is we're going to do with these. Right then, guys. So here is our piece of green wood, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a very um, quick and simple pot hanger. Um, I'm not going to speed this video up as I do with some of my other carving videos just to show you how quick it is uh, to make one of these and you know bear in mind I am sort of narrating and taking my time doing this um, so these can be made a lot quicker. Um, so what I'm going to do firstly I'm just going to put a little cross into my stick. Um, you can use an, another piece of wood if you want to batten with this. Uh, you can batten this down uh, if you so wish. Um, I, I can, you know, I'm happy to do this with just the pressure of the knife and, and the weight of me on top of it. Um, and what you get is this little cross here. And what you can do is, uh, now which way am I having this? That way. So if you take out the, the bit that's uh, furthest away from the top, from the short end of the stick, uh, and you, hopefully you can see that on the camera there, you just want to cut away the bottom and the two sides of the cross. Um, so it basically leaves you with something like this. Um, and what you want to do is just continue paring that away. Um, you may find, uh, as I think I've done here, I've not pressed down hard enough, I've not gone down deep enough. Um, that's absolutely fine. All you need to do is put it back down, take the lines that you're following, and just give that a little bit more pressure with the knife, a bit more of a, an indent there. And then what you do, just carry on like so. Uh, and once you've got about halfway down, you're pretty much about there. Uh, and what you can do, hopefully you can see that on the camera there, this, uh, this front section here, this bit, um, if you come maybe a couple of millimetres away from the end where the, where the bark is and what you can do is you can work your knife down in there just to make it a little bit more indented like that. Hopefully you, that's picking up alright on the camera. Um, and what that allows you to do, is if you've got a pot hanger over your fire so you've got a long length of wood uh, similar to this, maybe a bit thicker, uh, you flattened out one end. Um, let me see if I've got a spare piece. Of... There we go. Hopefully I can give you a bit of demonstration of this as well. Should do us. Um, and what you'll do, you'll get a piece of wood like that and you'll put um, sort of an indent if you like in that piece of wood. Uh, similar to this, hopefully you can pick that up on the camera there. And what you'll do, you'll take your little notch, that will sit in there. This is probably a bit too thick for it to be honest, but you can see the uh, you can see the theory that sits in there. Um, you can use a piece, of, a thicker piece of wood than this, so you can get a more pronounced uh, point on there. But that will hang just over your fire like so. Um, and then what you want to do on the other side of this, um, so here's here's where we've put our uh, uh, our notch and on the reverse side of that at the other end you want to do exactly the same thing so again we've got another notch and what you'll do remove the bottom and the sides so, I've not gone down far enough here again. Uh, 
and you just want to pare that down very gently you know you don't need to put too much force into this you can always use your knife uh, just to tidy up edges and things here and then what that will allow us to do if I grab my regular, uh, I've got my little titanium pot here uh, which is what I use for most of my boiling, um, for making stews, soups, uh, you know, tea and coffee, that kind of thing. Just pop the lid off. And what you'll do, stick your little bale arm on there. And in conjunction with the little hanger you've got over your fireplace, there you go. So that's now hanging over the centre of your fire and you can boil your water, there's not a great deal of weight in this so it's not biting very well um, but you get the idea, you get the theory um, and what that basically allows you to do, boil water um, cook a little bit of food um, and the benefit of this method, and, and I'm sure some of you are screaming at the screen right now um, saying well you know, why don't you just find a, uh, a suitable twig with a, with a not so much a V but with something coming out the side here so you can just hang that straight on to your pot and absolutely right you can do that um, what I've found um, is that you don't always find a suitable bit of green timber in the woods with with that configuration you know I'm sure if you search long enough and hard enough you can do um, and I have you know sometimes I'll walk into a clearing where I'm gonna have a brew up and I'll find it straight away um, other times I'll spend 10-15 minutes trying to find a piece um, and I'm, I'm struggling so this just means for me it's a way of making a pot hanger out of a single piece of straight wood which you are guaranteed to find in any woodland area um, and you know make sure it is a piece of green because um, obviously this is going directly over your fire um, however what I should have noted as well is that because it's directly above your pot um, and obviously the flames and the heat from the fire are coming up hitting your pot and that's what's causing it to boil um, what you can do this will not get massively hot unless, unless your fire is almost out of control and the flames are licking up and going everywhere um, it's really helpful that what you can do so there's your pot hanging over the fire you want to take it off because it's about to boil or it's about to boil over you reach in take your stick lift it up move it across put it on the ground put it on your tree stump put it wherever it is you're going um, hopefully that's not going to fall off there and there you go um, and you can reuse this or you can chuck it in the fire when you're finished um, alternatively something else that you can do um, and there's not a great deal of weight in this pot at the moment so it may not allow me to do it but what you can do if this is full of boiling water um, you take it off obviously your, your handles on your cup are going to be uh, hot as well as the rest of the cup I tend not to drink out of this if I've just boiled water in it because it's titanium it really retains the heat and, and you end up burning your mouth so I'll transfer this into another pot and what you can do if you leave these handles up you can basically use this to pour with um, as I say if this was full of water that would be an easier process but this has just got a, a little bit of sponge in it at the moment which I use for cleaning um, so basically that is it um, it's a nice simple method I'm, I'm just glancing at my camera now and it looks like we've taken about seven and a half minutes to do this um, now bear in mind if you were out in the woods by yourself doing this um, you know you wouldn't be talking to yourself or hopefully you won't be talking to yourself um, and you would have been able to get this done a lot quicker um, just very quickly before we go I'm just going to put the bushcraft knife away um, and what I want to do is um, just show you my Swiss Army knife uh, which you've seen before uh, if you've watched my EDC videos and this is it lovely little knife um, it was two things very quickly I wanted to show you one is the saw um, now I used this saw to take these pieces of wood uh, earlier on and just to give you a demonstration not the best of uh, tree stumps to be working on this but there we go pretty much there so you can if you walk into the woods with nothing but a Swiss Army knife in your pocket um, and I know a lot of people who do that um, you can cut down this green wood with just your Swiss Army knife uh, and also if I take out the blade and I will do this quite quickly side so as you can see I've got my 
crossing there as we've just done. I'll get the right angle on the camera for you. So again, you're cutting away that little bottom part, cutting away the sides, smoothing it down a little bit in the middle. And again, I'm, I'm just doing this uh, a little bit quicker than I probably normally would just for the sake of the video. I don't want it to run on too long. Um, but there you go. You've now got one side of your pot hanger. Um, so again, you can make this entire thing with just a Swiss Army knife. You don't need special tools. You haven't got to have a really expensive bushcraft knife. Um, you know, I use whatever it is I have to hand. Um, some days that's this, some days it's the bushcraft knife. Um, you know, it's just whatever I happen to have with me. Right then guys, I hope that was useful. Um, one quick thing before I do go, um, what I meant to say about these is you can also use exactly the same technique to make tent pegs. Um, so here is your, your notch for your tent peg. Um, you, you know, put a sharp end, maybe a bit sharper than this on there. And what you'll do is you'll drive that into the ground um, and put a bit of cordage here with me. Um, so let's just say, for argument's sake, this is your tent peg, uh, sorry, this is your guy line. So what you'll do, you'll put your guy line over, this will be in at a nice steep angle, um, and that's, that's not going anywhere. Um, you know, you can put that in, there's your guy coming out, you can see the tension on that, you can see that it's biting in, um, it's got a lip that it can't move over. Um, so these are really, really good ways of making tent pegs. Um, you know, if, you, if you're in conditions where you want it to be able to bite in a little bit more so than, than maybe normally you don't want to carry tent pegs with you. Um, anyway, as I say, I hope it was useful. I hope it's given you some ideas and maybe some things to try yourself. Um, comments and questions in the box below. Uh, and I, if obviously subscribe if you'd want to see more. I hope to see you next time, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm.